Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Henry Sierra, and thank you for clicking on this video. On my channel, you can find my journey through filmmaking as I pursue my passion through these videos. I also talk about creative theory. These are the approach, the perspective, the mindset, and things that you can do to make yourself better on this platform over time. Now, with that being said, if you guys enjoy any part of this video or if it helps you at all, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Um, now, with that being said, let's get started. So I think normally we usually think about this question with the bigger YouTubers because of how it makes their channels fluctuate and whatnot. But this video is going to be about will uploading two videos a week hurt David Dobrik's career? This is my second time filming this and I keep on checking if I'm in focus and it doesn't look like I am. But I can get it to seem like I am in focus when I focus it. So hopefully I'm in focus but... Uh, some of the time YouTube creators will upload a bunch of videos um, maintain that for a few years and sustain longevity on their channel, ultimately building an amazing platform and audience for themselves. But then they might want to uh, later on upload less frequently or or uh, not at all and take a break for a little bit. In David Dobrik's case, he is uploading less frequently. He is switching from three videos a week to two videos a week. Um, but this is actually going to help him. He has grown his channel to over 10 million subscribers. So he's basically made it on YouTube. <laughs> And now it's time to chase his other opportunities. In his most recent video, he explains this, why he's going from three days a week to two days a week. What's up guys, uh, I'm gonna make this short because this isn't serious and only like 5% of people are gonna care. Because I wanna let you guys know, I'm going to be posting twice a week as opposed to three times a week now. <gasps> <laughs> Which like is whatever. I'm doing this because I I just need more time to do other stuff Like I want to take more meetings for things I want to say yes to other opportunities But I can't because I'm literally like constricted by the videos now a lot of the YouTube community might be quick to think well Won't this hurt his channel? Won't he stop growing as rapidly as he is? Um, now that he's uploading less frequently like less videos means like less subscribers and less growth overall, right? And well, that's not really true because since David has already grown his channel to over 10 million subscribers, he has grown a pretty amazing fan base, a pretty amazing audience that is dedicated to watching his videos. So whether he uploads five days a week or once a week, they will still come. Um, the only difference is that now that it's less frequent, his videos have more time to actually circulate now. So they will probably get even more views or more watch time, which will then increase his growth even more. Um, so who knows, he might stay at his same growth rate or he might increase it by a couple of percent which is, I mean, still good. So basically that gives him the opportunity to pursue other opportunities at hand. Um, and in this video that he did with Brandon Cavillo, I think his last name is, he explains this and why he wants to make a movie and how he wants to go about that. Like I proved to myself that I can do YouTube, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I gotta, I gotta try something new. It's just like, it's just like it's time to, you know, jump to the deep end and get it going. Have you ever like thought about like making a movie? Um, yeah, tons of times. I want to make a high school movie so bad. Like, I want to make, like, a like a super bad type movie. I want to, like, go through the entire casting process, and I just want to find, like, like the best... I don't know, I just want to find, like, the new generation of, like, teenage actors. I'd love it for it to be, like, a coming-of-age movie. So this extra day that David is taking off of YouTube, this will fundamentally give him time to pursue these other opportunities, like taking meetings, um, going to set, directing films, finding actors for those films, pursuing different projects, even. And in the long term, of over the course of many decades of his filmmaking career, or his comedy career, or however he decides to pursue that, um, since he is taking a little bit of time off of YouTube and uploading twice a week, he can now invest time into other things that he can build that will further his film career. Think about Bo Burnham. He started on YouTube, kind of blew up on YouTube with his comedic videos, and then he did stand-up, and now he's making movies. My name is Bo Burnham, and I am the writer and director. I wanted to write something about this age, 13, 8th grade. So, I want to know what you guys think about this and comment it down below. Do you guys think that you would prefer him uploading twice a week, three times a week, every single day? Are you still willing to be a subscriber even now that he's uploading less frequently? I mean, personally, I think this is great for David. He's really smart for doing this and not just pursuing YouTube, but pursuing everything else that he might be passionate about. Alright, you guys, that is the end of this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about my upload schedule. Um, what do you guys think? Should I upload every single day, once a week, twice a week? How do you think it would affect my YouTube channel? Um, comment down below what you think for the same for yours. So yeah, uh, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Other than that, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.